Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kadriana Shakay, KK, Kadriana Schofield, whatever you want to call me. But today's video, I'm going to be doing something a little different. I'm going to be recreating one of Jazz to Co YouTube videos. And the only difference is that her locks are just regular locks. Mine are the goddess crochet. So if you're interested, then keep watching. So I'm starting off with my natural 4C hair blown out straight. It's a lot easier. Okay guys, so it looked like she started off with her hair blown out, which means that she blow dried it. And that's exactly what I did to my hair. And she already did the back part, but she's going to show us how to do the front. I'm going to start on the front section of my hair. for me to section my hair when my hair is blown out so I usually do that before every full lock installation so I basically use my fingers to kind of curve out my sections across my so for this tutorial we're not going to use a comb I'm going to use my fingers just like her so just going to section off this part first The entire head, I did not use a comb at all. I did not want these parts to be super neat. I wanted them to be regular, neat, took a back burner for this tutorial. It's really just about looking kind of natural and authentic. So these are the faux locks. You can barely see the hole. Oops. Guess I'll show y'all the faux locks I'm using. <laughs> but mine's are the same. You can barely see. Oops. You can barely see the hole. See, so open it when you first hold it up but it is there and the throw locks open and close and so basically I'm going to take that section that I have and just kind of part it into two the section does not have to be completely equal it just has to feel like it's pretty much the same size and then go ahead and put the throw lock over one half of the section and now you have the two sections right there one of them is holding the faux lock and now you're going to split this into three so what we're going to do is just a regular braid and you want to kind of braid it it depends on your preference but you can braid it super tight at the root and have it laying real tight and neat looking or you can do it a little bit more braid. loose i'm going to braid mine tight on you. if you're a good braider this will be super easy for you to do and then you just want to braid it all the way down So now basically the lock is on there and it's being held by that braid. Hold on y'all, she braided a little faster than me. Okay, look like we got it right. Now you have to figure out the way that the faux lock is going, the direction that it opens and closes, and then go ahead and kind of pull it open and then kind of wrap it around the Let's braid. See. And this is essentially hiding your real hair in the faux lock. And just keep on going until you can no longer grab your real hair. I think I'm twisting the wrong way. Hold up. Okay, let's take it this way. that is what it looks like you can't see my real hair at 
at all and it's completely inside of that faux lock. Let me pose. <laughs> she a little ahead of me. Looks like I did it right, y'all. <laughs> the root looks so natural. It is very secure. As long as your braid is, you know, not going to come undone, this is not going to come undone. What y'all think, y'all? I'm going to do it one more time. Feathers. Split the hair in two sections, then open the hole and put it through and plait the hair down and once you plait it down you twist the way that the lock is twisted And there you go, easy peasy. And no, I did not use a comb at all on my hair. And as you can see, it looks natural, you know, with real locks, they are not perfect. So that's why I chose not to use the comb. I took her advice, I did use the comb, and this is how everything turned out. As you can see, they came out looking so good, so flawless. But um, as you can see, that the roots look natural. You can't see the braid. And then the installment process was very quick. It took me a few hours though, but it would have took me a little shorter if I would have been consistent with my time because I was stopping and doing other stuff. But yeah, I want to talk about the company and the locks right fast. They sent me this hair, this company called Yabo Hair Vicky on Instagram. They sent this hair to me, and I like the locks. Um, what I can say about the locks, they do stick together, but that's like any other crochet locks to me. They sometimes stick together, but they don't stick together too bad. But I like the texture of the locks. I like um, how um, natural they look, and I think that this color is pretty. It's a fall color. And also guys, I use four bags on my hair. So it's like a little over a hundred locks in my head. They sent me five bags of this, but I use four. And also in the package, it has two clips and this button. I'm not really sure what this is, but this came with it. One more thing that I really like about this hair is the end. The curls are not that long. When I wear goddess locks, I prefer my curls to not be as long because for somehow, to me, that makes the hair look more natural and it makes it look more prettier to me. So that's another thing I like about the locks. But yeah, if you like this type of video, just comment down below in the comment box and I will be doing more videos like this. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all.